Lumix just announced the new firmware update for the S5 II and 2X, making it almost kind of feel like a brand new camera. Now, this is just a little bit of camera news, more of a laid back video for you guys today. I literally filmed and edited and posted this video in the exact same day. Now, I haven't gotten this firmware update. This is purely camera news, but I do want to tell you guys a little bit about it. And once I do get this firmware update, I'll do a deep dive video talking about all the things in way more depth than I am in this video. But I do want to just touch point, give you guys some of my opinions and thoughts on this. And if you haven't decided to buy the S5 II or 2X, it might be a good time now with these firmware updates. So let's go into the first one. So the first point is autofocus. Now the autofocus has gone improved for a long time or short time coming, depending on how you look at it. When they announced the Lumix Micro Four Third G9 Mark II camera, that had a couple upgraded autofocus features that are finally coming to the S5 II and 2X. So not only is it human body face and eye, now they have animal body face and eye. They also have a car autofocus and motorcycle autofocus, which is great for any car photographers. Now this is great that they've upgraded the autofocus to what the G9 Mark II has. It is great seeing that Lumix is gonna still push their face detect autofocus in better and better directions with a lot more improvement and different tools to get the best autofocus possible out of this camera. Now this I wouldn't say is the huge upgrade to this camera or firmware update, but it is great that they finally added that from the G9 Mark II. Now the second one is stabilization, which ironically is also coming from the Lumix G9 Mark II. They just added electronic image stabilization similar to the G9 Mark II. Not only do we have the standard electronic stabilization, which the S5 II and 2X already have, but now we have the high version, which is just a more high quality version. And based off what I was seeing, it's very, very similar to the G9 Mark II, which I'll do an entire video comparing the G9 Mark II versus the S5 2X in terms of stabilization. but. It seems like the stabilization is really close to the G9 Mark II, which is great for being a full frame system. Now, I'm not 100% sure. I would assume the Micro Four Third systems are still far better in stabilization, but I bet it's getting closer and closer. So it's a great thing. With that said, you do have a bigger and bigger crop. So if you are shooting 60 or 48 frames a second, that crop will get pushed in even more and more if you're using electronic stabilization. Now, the third one is gonna be pre-burst shooting. This is gonna be a little bit of a quick one, but for photographers, this is a great feature. You can go up to 1.5 seconds longer whenever you're taking a photo. So it's already capturing 1.5 seconds before you actually start hitting the button, which is great. I think it's taking about 30 pictures a second or so. It is cool that they're still investing a lot of cool photo specific features in this camera as well and not ignoring the photographers as well, which is great. Even though I'm a videographer and want all the video features, it is great that Lumix is paying a lot of attention and details towards photography as well. Now, these last two firmware updates is probably the biggest changes and upgrades to the S5 II and 2X. The first one is proxy recording, which now before I get into some of the advantages of recording proxies on your camera internally, let's talk about how it works. It's actually really, really cool what Lumix did. Not only can you record directly to an SSD, say if you're recording Apple ProRes or Cine 4K, and it takes a lot more storage, you can record to a separate SD card to record the proxies. So the high quality footage is going to the SSD while the proxy versions are going to the SD card. Now you can also do this internally with just SD cards. One SD card is gonna be recording all of the high quality footage while the second SD card is gonna be recording all of the proxies. Now my only little gripe, which they might change before the firmware update actually comes out, is currently you can turn real time LUT on and off for the proxy specifically. So if you have real-time LUT turned on and that's part of your workflow, on the high quality footage, it will be turned on no matter what if you have it on. And then from there, you can debate, do you want it on or off with the proxies? Now, my only little gripe with that is I wish that was switched around. I wish when you were recording your high quality footage, you can have the real time LUT be turned off. And then on your proxy versions, have your real time LUT turned on. So 
whenever you're setting those proxies out, they're already pre-baked, color graded in a sense with a real-time LUT. And then your high quality footage can be just left in vlog to have full control later on in post. Again, this might be something that they change with a future firmware update, but that would be a huge thing I would add for these proxies is to have the real-time LUT turned on only for proxies and have it be turned off for your normal footage. Currently, I don't think that's what it does, but that's that. And then the last feature that is also great in part with proxies is using frame.io integration into these cameras, which wow, this C to C or camera to cloud situation is huge for Lumix cameras. So using a internet connection, connecting your frame.io account, you can now simultaneously as you're recording a clip in live time, have your proxy versions get sent to frame.io. Now, huge advantages of this is gonna be if you have an editor that's across the states or different things like that, they can edit simultaneously in live time your project in the proxy formats and then you could send high quality footage after the shoot and the edit can be done. And this is also crazy because Atomos, I believe, has like a four to six hundred dollar monitor does that does camera to cloud integration. And now Lumix just kind of like picked them off to the side and said, we can just do it ourselves, which is insane that frame.io integration is now in the S5 II and 2X making this almost the perfect YouTube camera, especially if you have an editor or someone working else elsewhere, real-time editing is absolutely insane. Again, the only gripe I would want is to have my proxies be turned on with real-time LUT, but have my high-quality footage be turned off. Anyways, this is a quick little video for you guys today. Let me know your thoughts about the firmware updates. What is your favorite feature? Leave that in the comments below. If you want to see my thoughts about the S5 II after six months of using it, check out this video right here. Then YouTube recommends you might like this video right here. Till the next one, guys. Peace.